Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crimson is Late to the Bandwagon. Um, I hope you all have had a great week and have had a great Friday. And uh, if not, I hope your weekend is better. And if not, like if you're working or something, I hope you have a decent slash good one anyway. You know, like good vibes all around. Anyway, so I had some weird shit happening this week with my computer. Let me just quickly check, make sure everything. Yep, everything's working fine, looking fine, looking good. Okie doe, okie day. Um... <clears throat> but uh yeah so okay announcement time let me pull up my calendar so i have dates in front of me all right next week will be next week right monday will be assassin's creed tuesday tomb raider wednesday Watch Dogs. friday whatever we do on friday more late to the bandwagon maybe not this game maybe something else uh, may actually not be late to the bandwagon. It may be something else entirely. I don't know. Friday will be Friday. <coughs> However, the week after that, that is the week of the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. I will be unavailable. And, uh, in fact, so basically I'm going to be taking the rest of the month off. Um, I might be back Monday the 29th. But don't, like, hold your breath for it. Ah, uh, my nose is really itching. Um. So. Yeah. Base. So, vacation. Actually, let me put this in my Twitch calendar. While I'm thinking about it. My Twitch schedule while I'm thinking about it. Oh, oh, hello, me. Uh. We are looking for my schedule. There we go. Edit schedule. Okay. Vacation mode. First day will be the... Uh, let's say the 13th, which is a Saturday. Last day will be... You know what? I'm going to decide here and now that, that uh, the 29th through the 2nd of June will be will not be a stream so we'll say my last day will be june 3rd which is a saturday so that means that i will be back on june 5th resuming normal streaming operations and that is on my uh calendar my twitch stream calendar thing schedule um hold on let me just confirm that that's gone into place yep there we go and then june 5th we'll be back to normal all right cool 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 yep so that's on my my uh, twitch schedule so yeah there we go <coughs> um but uh yeah where'd discord go there's discord okay uh so yeah that's the update um so those final weeks of may and the first week of june i will be off um the first half week of june technically but anyway um other than that uh, uh if you need reminding or whatever check uh, go to my discord my socials etc on my link tree for updates uh, or you can subscribe to my Patreon where you can support me and help me out and all that type of stuff. Yep. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back to Gone Home. This game has been so amazing. I can't wait. Okay. Hold on, let me just quickly check some stuff. Close out of some extra shit I have in the background. Alright, resume. Right, so we were in this creepy basement. Or we just come up from the basement? Map. Okay. Down a floor. Had we explored all of this to our knowledge? Junk room upstairs. Okay. 
Oh, sorry. I'm trying to keep it slow and smooth, but the sensitivity in the actual game itself is bucky. All right, let's confirm that this is the junk room. Yeah, we've been here. Okay. So we're going upstairs to this part of the house. Okay. Which is not on the actual blueprints, uh, from what I recall. Because there were blueprints over here. Uh, yeah, right here. <coughs> so basically, off the greenhouse, up through here in this area, there has been an add-on. As you can see here. Up through this area, there's been an add-on. Um... So we'll be coming up there and then coming down through there and stuff. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Woo! Sensitivity just went fucking bonkers. Okay. All right, now then. And up the stairs. We go up there's. Thunder. Thunder, 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 cats. Wow. Okay, guest room would be to the left. Dining room would be to the right. All right, let's see here. The Bratmobile, lol. Costume skeletons and devils cheerleaders from the smells like teen spirit video one girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy Psycho house girl the coolest stuff about being the psycho house girl Cool thing number one everybody in the hall Thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral that's a lie to mom and dad situation. Uh, that's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Okay. Go this way. Let's pull that. Samantha Greenbrier. <clears throat> Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed in initiative as well as... Oh my god. And was well written. But it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, uh, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. I mean, that's how teenage is, to be fair. What teen teenage that's what teenage life is like. Oh. 
put it back. Women's women outlaws. This will show y'all. This will show you who runs things down this joint. She's tougher than a wild mustang. No female's gonna tell me. Yeah. Heavens to Betsy. All right. Anything back under here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Wipers. Girl justice now. This one's for you, Grossman. Cat May. Revolution girl. Had enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. It's one of these hidden wall things. Interesting that the the uh, add-on to the guest room and stuff was a hidden was behind a hidden wall. And we're back here. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's find that kitchen. Oh, stop it! Uh, Salon Josephine. Jan Greenbrier, Silas Sherry, got a shampoo set, color perm, manicure. $119 at robbery, in my opinion. <clears throat> Capitalism. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom has was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, when she is home, she takes it out on you like because you're not a member of the family she knows you won't call her on it and i'm sorry haha ha, it's okay i know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles i feel sorry for you i'm lucky my mom lives in florida you have to have a mom every day sorry i didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that i know i shouldn't complain no, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. <coughs> so you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? <laughs> the big ass no! Textbook in Espanol. What's this? Offer a promotion. Bruce Pendleton, Deerhead Conservationist Greenbrier, due to your exemplar exemplary management of the Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and the services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations. Excuse me. We would like to offer you the position of regional conservation. God, excuse me again. Regional Conservation Management Director. Responsible for operations throughout Northwestern Oregon. Your assistance would be sought to fill your previous positions on site at the Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting would be at the Regional Management Building located at 128 Bullhorn Road, which should be much more convenient for your daily commute. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. We very much look forward to your reply. Okay. down here Damon magazine froth music and culture
All right. Ooh, what's this say? Guardian angels up above, bless this house with health with lots of love. All right, let's find that kitchen. Ooh. A ticket stub to earth, wind, and fire. Nice. All right, so now to the right should be, somewhere down here should be the kitchen. What's this door? Closet. What's in here? Read note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks American. I love it, Merry Christmas, miss you. L. P.S. Treasure it always. It doesn't appear to be a skull in there. Okay. We're just gonna shut that door. Come down this way. So there's that room. Oh, I see. We're coming out here. Okay. Lights? Light switch. Kitchen! Yay, we found the kitchen. Okay. Now, before we go on with that, there's two things that we're gonna do. <laughs> because I am insane. All right, we are going to put that in. And then we're gonna come over here and grab these dishes. Dirty sink. Sink, 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 sink. Ah, oh, this must be the garage. Okay. The gay rage. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing a sink. Dishwasher, bingo. Where did I put the... Jeez, that was loud. There we go, we'll just put it in the drawer. that's in there. Dang it. Hold on. Where the hell is everybody? Good catch. That would have been bad. Eh. There we go. Eh. 
damn it. Yeah, good enough for now. <laughs> oh, give me that back. Just a second. There we go. Uh, excuse me. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Lights. Go away. Eh. Okay. Silverware. Pigs! Pigs lived in this house! Eh. Okay, fine, that won't go up there. Um, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Actually. Yay! <laughs> no. Alright, woo! There we go. We'll put it in there for now. And soda. Trash can? Trash can. Anything in there for me? Nope. Okay. Eh. Okay. Oh, hey! Dishes and cups. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll leave those be because obviously that's pretty full on storage. So, you know. Uh, I'm not going to go poking through that just yet. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We still have plenty of shit to bring in from the other rooms. With how big this house is, I don't blame them for leaving their dishes everywhere. Like, for real. For real. And they probably had a rule that was like no running in the house. Close that drawer, please.
You know what? I'm not even sorry that I'm ha that I'm doing this. Did I check in here for any dishes? I don't remember. No, there's a bag of chips that's coming with me. Pigs. Slobs. Oops. Sam and her family were slobs. glass might go to the bar yeah I think I'm gonna take that glass to the bar um because I don't recall seeing any glasses in the dining room but I'll in the kitchen I mean I'll take us I'll I'll take a peek around be sure Mug, 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 mug. Ah, glass. Yep, so that we do have glasses here. So I will grab that glass and bring it in here. <laughs> Can't believe there was no sink. Dishwasher, but no sink. I'm really going to laugh if there's an achievement for all of this. <laughs> Though I'm probably, if there is an achievement, I'm probably doing it wrong. It's probably like load the dishwasher or some shit like that. Put away the clean dishes and put the dirty dishes in the sink or in the dishwasher or something. When really I'm just putting them all in the, in the cupboard. Just putting them all away. Eh. Okay. I think that's everything. I think that includes the stuff we found up in Sam's room. Okay, I know there was nothing down in... There might be some stuff down in the basement still, but I don't think so. The basement had mostly a bunch of old shit. The bar had its own shit. Oh, right, I can't pick that up. So we're not going to worry about over there with the bar, but we are going to go up to Sam's room and double check that that's all of the... dishes. Ah, it's not. Damn it. That's right. Uh, okay, and we can't mass carry I don't think because I think if I pick that up. Yeah <sighs> Fuck me Now can I just yeet that Nope, oh, okay <sighs> Okay Yay! Oh, that didn't go very far. Eh. There.
That's right. So one plate, three cups, and a fork. Okay. Pick off, ghost. Sorry, four cups. Counting the one on the stairs. One, two, three. This is close enough that I am fine just walking the rest of the way. Okay, I'm actually going to... Bratmobile, some some special. Yeah, the music is always so fucking loud. So fucking loud. And apparently it's not bound to the music slider. Because that makes sense. that high oh there's the sink so the sink has been removed okay it's supposed to go there but apparently renovations were happening which makes sense oh I could put the chips and the peanut butter in here oh okay let me do that nope wrong drawer this drawer Chips. Peanut. Creamy peanut butter. Incorrect. Alright. <clears throat> I 
I'm kind of getting the feeling that maybe Sam was living here by herself. after a point you know let's go get the other cups then we'll worry about putting them away cuz like the way her shit is just spread everywhere love letters from her and Lonnie tapes of music Etc. 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 You know, the way that is just everywhere makes me feel like she was living here alone. Maybe, maybe her mom and her dad had that falling out because we know that there was some uh, dalliances happening between the mom and a co-worker Rick. Some flirtation. So that makes me wonder, you know? Back off, ghost. Okay. Okay. Damn it. And there they go. Wait, are these two different sizes of plate? Yes, okay. There are two different sizes of plate. That one's too small for that one. Okay, I think these two are the same size. You... Ooh, I think you're bigger than that one is. Nope, same size as that one. Okay. Now you, I think, are the small ones. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. I think you're a big one. Yep, and you must be a big one too. Yeah, okay. So we'll put the big ones down over here. We'll put the small ones here. Big. Small. Big. Small. Big. Small. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. Fuck off, ghost. Oh. 
Oh, damn it. Come on. mom mug there we go and to my knowledge that's everything so far now now we can explore pack of cards checkbooks that again. Book. The Accidental Savior by Terrence Greenbrier. Okay. Dad's book, in other words. Read invitation. Dear Mr. and Miss, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair, request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret to <clears throat> Mr. Richard Harris Pattermack <clears throat> Sunday the 4th of June 1995 at half past 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh Okay. When was I arriving? June 6th. So this is two days ago. Sam schedule working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 to 7. Saturday, 12 to 6. Well, that works. up there nothing up there i already checked in there and checked in there all right can't open those marker highlighter letter congratulations on your new position dear regional conservation director greenbrier having received your formal acceptance letter I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest, and I and very much, excuse me, look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May 1st, so a month or two ago, month ago, June. <laughs> All right. Oh, I missed a glass. Hold that thought. Damn it. Back. There we go. Okay, and there was nothing. Oh, put that back. All right. Now then. All right, the gay rage. June, all right, let's see what's on the calendar. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Rick's wedding, can't make it, send regrets. Oh, Rick got married, okay. The anniversary trip. Charity junk pickup. Dentist, Sam's Dentist, June 12th. I came back here. Oh, they're on their anniversary trip. Oh. Okay.
So that's why nobody's here is they're on their anniversary trip and Sam is Sam ran away apparently Okay, anything in here now that I can actually look grab bag food Hands room dustpan Salad dressing. Okay. Paint can. Book. Dad's book. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you finds you well hell it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all uh do you know how long i've been trying to track you down worry not we aren't the feds the men in black or any other sort of creeping fascist top goblins in fact we're on your side let me start from the beginning unknown dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house we traffic in the weird the ahead of its time the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type out uh, type out of, of out there mass marketing shunning visionary exp holy shit that refuses <clears throat> to be taken on anything but its own terms we've had an unparalleled uh rin run since our inception four years ago unearthing and reviving christ or zombie like timeless works uh such as n n bestman's message of the snake men it's inside me by jens keller and emil krieger's oft banned venusian flesh traders but ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into the 20th century civilization's anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern suburban American America wants, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history, revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. Oi. <clears throat> it is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do you want? What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new foreword for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds. Contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along... <coughs> on coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time, last off. Wow, that's not sussy at all. All right. More paint cans, shovel, rake, hoe. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd through 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. ROTC hat. That's Lonnie's hat. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. 
to who knows where. The other side of the country, the other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. That she's really going to be gone. Just gone. Poor girl. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. I imagine, or imagine, actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, um, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you are gross. Never change. Oh. I feel like she had a breakup with Lonnie. Crown Burger, Sam, ask me about clown combos. The fact that that's in the trash makes me feel like she quit her job. All right, we have a new mission, everybody. We, they have recycling, so any soda can we find is going into the recycling. No, it's not. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna be that. Uh, that. Uh, anal retentive about it okay kitchen garage okay a loose panel booted out a going away show for Lonnie D all ages last show ever Girl Scout Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight she's so incredible on stage and she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh. My heart. Sent this one from Barcelona. <clears throat> Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the benches, on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I am running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. Okay. Bathroom. Home cook risotto. Risotto in 10 ways. TP, TP. Slide door. Okay. Oh. Laundry room? Yes, laundry room. Okay. Cleansing powder, cleansing powder, detergent, hand soap, uh huh. Faucets, uh huh. Laundry. Grab softener. Open, open washer. The slits.
notes. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I en I'd end up. I'd never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Until then, oh. And there's the greenhouse. The Accidental Human by Terence L. Greenbrier. Nice. Strong Pines. The Accidental Pariah. The dad would work in the greenhouse. <coughs> From the pen of Terence L. Greenbrier. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sent for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said the unknown dimension isn't in this in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might <clears throat> be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terrence L. Greenbrier. Aww. So Dad took him up on the op on the offer and apparently it was legit despite my gut saying sus cover copy it's been almost 20 years since john russell heard the call twice he saved a president's life he's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger uh, forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement the days where he m mattered so when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out he doesn't hesitate is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Ooh! Dad! Woo! All right, let's take this cup back to the kitchen. Because dad's a slob, too. Day. Okay. All right. Okay. Where we'll do it. Midnight, June 5th. Final preparations are complete. Under stairs, secret door. Okay, so there's a secret door under the stairs. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. 
That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Light switch. Light switch. Okay. Mom's purse. I feel like this is the second one we've had. Manual for forestry research and education. Take care of our forests. Okay. Read note. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday. But my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More... More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Another of the postcards I sent. God, no butts in heaven. God, no butts in heaven. Hey, mom, dad, and Sam, the, the Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo and Donatello and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mom, we'll have to go back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have... Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people. So you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I probably won't get bored. I won't get bored. Gored by a bull, probably. Love, Katie. Why didn't it? There we go. Disciplinary referral to some a student, Samantha Greenbrier. Teacher. Can't read that. Pre to, referred to principal's office. 421, 295, period 2, grade 11. Description of behavior incidents. Distributing inappropriate material on school grounds. Disciplinary action taken. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension. <laughs> Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges. And from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie... While Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again, Dad. I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. <laughs> Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad. Or disappointed or start crying or something but they were just in denial you're too young to know what you want you and Lonnie are just good friends you just haven't met the right boy it's a phase that's what I didn't see coming that they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me well jokes on them because they're in for one very long phase Okay, so that one was that one. Was 
was this one that's what she cried to okay so she left on june 5th june 5th which was my day elite arriving right june 6th i'm arriving the next day or something akin to that so sam was alone for a couple of days before i got here oh, fucking plates god damn it pigs 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 whole family's pigs did i read this I did not, but... It's hard to read. Daniel. Okay, so this must be from like forever ago. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Okay, when was Daniel? May 19th, okay. So I missed that. So that's like her first draft of that pirate story she's been writing off and on. You know what? Eh. Dang it. Eh. Oh wait, that's the fucking pot. You know what? Okay. We're going to the next drawer down. Eh. Eh. There we go. And then you... You go on top of the cook that. Yeah, right there. Okay. <sighs> I also never actually checked out the fridge. I just realized. So we'll do that after we're done with this. Jam, relish, cheese, cheese, salad dressing, milk, etc. No milk, no, no weird things. Grab box. Frozen spinach, okay. Veggies, ice cream, oh. the gets. Excuse me. Okay, that's a thing for me to read.
Grab uncrumpled manuscript. The accidental warrior. Don't give up in the on this, honey. Oh. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, regional director. And I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you writing? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation. Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're, like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Well, his wedding was on the calendar, so... Okay, so we have to figure out... Uh, when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady, soon. Okay. Grab that, that in there, that in there, that in there, close drawer, open, nothing, okay, close, open, nothing, close. Okay, we checked that out, we checked the zine out, another of the postcards, anything under the table? No, okay. Yay! Stay. Okay. Okay, so I have not been up to the guest room. My question is, did I get that secret panel? I don't recall. did okay okay so to the guest room we go okay we're coming out here oh the guest room is where I where Katie would be living one nine six dash three I wondered if there was going to be a thing behind that bookshelf. That bookshelf. One nine six dash three. <sighs> Okay, so still no access to the attic yet, probably.
Alright, one nine six three. One nine six three. One nine six three. I don't know what that would be for. I don't have any unlocked combinations that I know of. Can I open these? I don't remember. Okay. Alright. It's right there. There might be something down here, actually, now that I think about it. Before we go down there, let's go back to the basement. Let's see if we can't figure out that 1963. Hydrogen peroxide. This is all probably really old shit. Morphine. More morphine. Probably more morphine. Yep. Turn to cinder. Mary Greenbrier. Dear sister, I write what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered one way or the other I feel a prisoner one way or the other I feel a prisoner as on an island with no jailer no human soul for commune consume only my mind examining itself endlessly, endlessly searching for relief. I'm in the years pro since transgression. I have sought no absolution, only uh, something forgiveness in good faith. I have removed myself from all temptation. Sanctified to prove my commitment. Hold on, let's see if I can find this on. Let's see if I can find it online. Uh, let's see here. Gone home wiki.
Oscar Masson. Come on, give me the thing I'm looking for. Here we go. Dear sister, I write what shall be my last appeal to you under uh, scratched out uh, to go unanswered one way or the other. I uh, one way or the other. I feel a prisoner as on an island with no jailer, no human soul for commune only my one mind examining itself endlessly endlessly searching for relief in the years since transgression i have sought no absolution only bare forgiveness in good faith i have removed myself from all temptation sacrificed to prove my commitment however i can ma however i can imagine since mother's passing i have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin to be treated as human again to breathe the air of human spirit once more by grace even a wretch like me could be saved but i do not expect it if no response is received i shall henceforth accept my sentence and one day shall cease to, uh, as one day simply c cease to be with a brother's love always, Oscar Masson. Or Mason. Regardless. Alright, so that's what that says. Wait, was there another page? No. Okay. Come on. Alright. So we've checked that out. That just leaves the stairs. That's a wall. Sorry. Got distracted by my keyboard. There we go. <sighs> okay. Let me double check. I've gone I've done that, I've done that, I've done I've gone down to the basement, I've up floor. We've been in there, we've been in there, we've been in there. I'm up through those stairs, we've been in there, we've been in there, we've gotten that. We've been in there, we've been in here. We got that locker. Been in here, we've been in here, we've been in here, we've got been in here, we've gone downstairs through both the main stairs and those we've been in here we've gotten that we've been in here we've gotten that we've been in here 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 and out here 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 uh we've been down there we've been out in here in there 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 We've come down here, been in there, been in there, been in there, been in there, been up there, and been up through there. Okay. So yeah, this is the only thing we have left other than the attic. And we'll probably get the attic key down here. Woo! 
Ooh. Okay. I'm concerned. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, please. As... Nope, wasn't that. Oh, it was in there. It was out in the greenhouse. Midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. Where we'll do it. Under stairs. Okay. Do it. I wonder what they mean by that. Because there was a fucking pentagram. I'm really hoping she didn't, like, kill herself and Lon kill Lonnie and then herself. Sam. I'm really hoping Sam didn't, like, kill herself. Uh, kill Lonnie and then herself. Okay. Name tag. Some candles. Chalk. Grab a book. What's this book? Prof Possession and Exorcism. Christine, Christine Quinn. Interacting with Supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. Okay. Okay. Attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. Oscar Masson's pharmacy. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. I hope she didn't kill herself in the attic. I really hope she didn't kill Lonnie and then herself in the attic. <sighs> oh, did I finish checking out in here? I think I did, but I don't see anything weird. Like, I checked that, I clicked that. Okay. And let's go get that box of cereal and put it back in the pantry. Have this dread feeling in my stomach you know eh. there you go all right let's go up to the attic <sighs> Wait, hold on.
Come on. Sorry, hold on. Fucking... Let me do what I want to do here. Give me just a second. Sorry, y'all. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. I just got a message from a friend I hadn't talked to in a long ass time. So I wanted to reply well. I had the opportunity. All right, so we've been in there. Now up to the attic. Yippee. Excuse me. Okay, so it seems like they tried to exercise the ghost of Oscar Mason or Oscar Mason from the house under the stairs. I have such a bad feeling. I'm gonna be so sad if, if Sam is up here, like dead. I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong. I love you, Lonnie. Kick ass. Stay strong and kick ass. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and Aww. us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that and I said yes yes I was going I was looking for the message machine because Sam Sam hello it's Lonnie that is Lonnie Sam Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on That's Tuesday. That's Katie. But it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Poor 
Poor Lonnie. I really hope that that's what happened. I really, really hope that Sam went and found her. You know? There was no car in the garage, so maybe. But I hope that Sam didn't, like, die in a car accident on the way or something. Or, like, off herself. <sighs> okay. Developer concentrate. Alkaline fixer. And I. Lonnie's military shirt. Oh my god, that's so cute! Paper, paper, paper. Oh god. Letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know. I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Oh, that was adorable! My heart! <laughs> This is so good! Sarah Grayson is Sam. Sarah Elmalia or Emily as Katie. Featuring the music of Heavens to Betsy, Bratmobile, and the Youngins. With the original score by Chris Remo. I'm gonna do that so that I don't get like too terribly DMCA'd. Oh my god, that game was amazing! My heart! Well done, everybody. Well done. Oh, it's loud in my ears. But, oh, man, I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. Uh, come on. I might do what remains of, might start what remains of Edith Finch. I don't know. It's hot in here. I think I need to take a break. Cool off a little bit because it's really hot in here. Oh, with the picture and the yo my heart my heart 
Aminel. You go, girl. My heart. Okay, now I'm going to look at the achievements because I'm curious as hell. Oh, so I didn't find all 23 of Sam's journal entries. I wonder how many I missed. Um, home runner, or I can complete the game in less than a minute. I wonder how I'd do that. Uh, speed reader completed the game having found all 24 journal entries with no modifiers enabled in less than 10 minutes. And behind the scenes, all commentary nodes. Okay, and then there's five hidden achievements. Curious. I'm curious what they all are. Come on, load up. I did not find Mitten's secret diary. I obviously did not complete the game in less than a minute with no modifiers. Turn on every faucet in the house at once. Uh, return the Christmas duck to his rightful place. I have no idea where that is. Uh, guess Oscar's safe combination. 1963. Open the secret bookshelf in the guest room from the outside. Oh, so from the guest room side. Interesting. Okay. I'll probably tackle those at some point in my own time, obviously. Anyway, I need to take a break. Um, maybe cool off a little bit because I'm dying of heat in here. Um, so when we come back, we'll be swapping to another game. Probably what remains of Edith Finch. Um... Maybe play that for a start that for a bit and then finish it next week. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Come home, coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. Anyway. Alright. Be back in a bit, y'all. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 